on this video i will show you guys how to make youtube videos without using your voice let's jump right to it top of the morning to you guys i'm back with another video on one of my previous tutorials i used a text to speech generator to narrate the video and some of you guys asked me to make a video on how to use that so here it is also if this video helps you out don't forget to leave a thumbs up and turn on bell notifications for more videos just like this one the generator i used to turn text to speech was watson from ibm and this feature is one of the many applications of this ai and you're gonna love it because by far this is one of the if not the best text to speech generators out there right now because it sounds exactly how a normal person would. Just listen to this. Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible, universal values of human dignity, freedom, equality and solidarity. It is based on the principles of democracy and the rule of law. It places the individual at the heart of its activities by establishing the citizenship of the union and by creating an area of free... Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible, universal values of human dignity, freedom, equality, and solidarity. It is based Conscious of its spiritual and moral heritage, the union is founded on the indivisible, universal values of human dignity, freedom, equality, and solidarity. It is based on the principles of democracy and the rule of law. It places the individual at the heart of its activities by establishing the citizenship of the union and by creating an area of freedom, security and justice. Now, if you want to add a pause after a word, for example, if you wanted to say, hello, my name is Watson instead of hello, my name is Watson. All you have to do is add a comma next to the word. Now, without any pauses, it will sound like this. Hello, my name is Watson. And once you add a comma next to the word, it'll sound like this. Hello, my name is Watson. As you can see, there is a day and night difference with and without pauses. So you can use this to manipulate the voice to say anything you want and make it sound more human-like. Also, if a name you're trying to make it pronounced doesn't sound right, try breaking down the name into two or Try adding capital letters if it's a brand name. For example, YouTube should be typed like this. YouTube. YouTube. Okay, this is all great, but you must be wondering how to get this on your videos, right? It's pretty easy. All you have to do is just let the text that you just generated play out once and then right click on the audio that you see under the speak button over here and click save audio as. Now, Create a folder to keep everything organized and it's easy to find them that way. Name the audio file, I'll save mine as intro and click save. Then it'll start downloading. I recommend you guys keep the audios to about 30 to 45 seconds each because it's easier to listen to and change words without waiting minutes for it to play through till it gets to the word that it just changed. So just keep it short and it'll make the whole editing process a lot easier. Now you could just import these into your editor one by one as you make them but what I recommend is that you create one audio file instead of having a lot of smaller ones because that will make the whole editing process faster and easier while you edit the video. You could use any audio editor to do this but I'll be using Audacity which is a free software the links in the description if you guys want to download. Yeah, the steps are pretty easy to follow. I'll quickly run through them for you. Go ahead and open up Audacity and drag all the audio files one by one into Audacity in the order of your script if you have one or your video. Now you could add effects and whatnot from the effects tab but that's for another video so once you're done copying everything let's go ahead and save it and add the audio file to the video editor. Go to file, export and click on export as mp3. Make sure you remember the folder that you're saving it in and give it a name. Then click save, click OK again and you can close Audacity. Ok you're almost done here, all you have to do now is add this to your video just like you recorded your own voice. 
and you could use any video editor for this tutorial I'll be using Adobe Premiere Pro I will open one of my previous projects now we have to import the audio file and add it to the timeline this could differ depending on the video editor that you are using right now I'll show you how to do it on Premiere Pro click on assembly right click over here and click import go to the same location where you save the audio file and open it now you could just drag it from the bin to your project and edit as you wish you could slice it up or move apart from one place to another and that's about it you can edit it just like you used your own voice that's it for this video thanks for watching if you have any trouble following this tutorial you know what to do leave a comment in the comment section below i'll get back to you guys as soon as i can and if this video helped you out leave a thumbs up subscribe and stay tuned for more peace out